Hey, Jared, what's going on? It's Rob and Taryn for RHAP. Uh, Jared, okay, uh, we saw you uh, ultimately uh, had your time in the Big Brother house, uh, had two evictions, basically. Uh, now that you've been out, what, what's what been some things that have been interesting for you to learn that you're outside the house? Um, Just a lot about my game and seeing the way I played the game and thinking that you know, certain moves in the time felt like the right move to make and seeing in hindsight, like, ah, uh, it really wasn't good. And uh, there was possibilities for me to be able to stay in the house with just a slightly few adjustments to my game. So I think that's one of the most interesting things as far as gameplay wise. And then also just to see, you know, the uh, the fallout from just being a part of this game, being a part of this community and just seeing how everybody perceives you and whatnot. Uh, were there any moves in particular that you're thinking of that you like, wish that you had maybe done a little differently yeah i think one of the main one of the main things that i keep reflecting on uh day to day right now is just uh renaming cam um i felt like if i would have just broke up the america Corey uh saga right there sent uh essentially america would have been the one going home and um i would have probably been able to extend my shelf life in that game but unfortunately uh cam was my target he just mentioned my mom one too many times he recently just voted out my closest ally being izzy so I felt this, I felt uh, a personal vengeance against Cam, which ultimately ended up uh, working against my demise, working to my demise. Jared, do you have any thoughts on Cam's HOH uh, for this time around? Um, so I, I've tried my best to kind of stay away from watching as much uh, right now, just because it's still so fresh, just being out of, outside of the house. But um, hey, I'm super excited that he's got it. I I told Cam right before I left, uh, plenty of times on many different occasions, like, hey, um. Just please protect Sari by any means necessary. I couldn't tell him why, but I think he has a deep understanding for my feelings for Sari. And uh, him winning HOH, I believe, guarantees her another week in the house. Uh, you mentioned uh, you've sort of like learned about uh, how people are like perceiving you from the game. Uh, how how are you feeling about all that? Um, you know, it, it's it's time for me to just reflect on who I am as a person, who I was in the house. Um, at the end of the day, like first things first, I wanted to come out and just apologize to America personally and to Matt and not only those two, but the whole disabled community as a whole. Um, you know, people were offended by things that I said and rightfully so, uh, I can't do anything but take accountability for it and understand that at the end of the day, I am human. Um, I'm no better than any other person, but, um, I made a mistake and I got to own up to it and I got to just continue to better myself on a day to day basis. Um, I feel like people want me to just kind of crawl into this hole and just crawl over and just accept everything that's been coming my way. And I have been accepting it to an extent, but I, like I said, I want to get out of front of it and just, like I said, take accountability for it. Jared, have you gotten to connect with Izzy, your sister, uh, since you've <laughs> been out of the house? <laughs> My sister. Uh, yeah, I have, actually. I've been talking to Izzy a couple times, a uh, couple different occasions. I actually may probably be going to see her really soon. Any any uh, interesting interactions with Izzy? Does she have anything to say to you? Ah, uh, me and Izzy. You know, I got to keep the tea for me and Izzy for me to, between me and Izzy for now. You know, uh, a lot of people said I had a big mouth, so I can't keep talking about that kind of. <laughs> He's learning. Uh, but, you know, I think uh, I think me and Izzy will probably do our own, like uh, maybe a live or something like that, and just hash it out for everybody to see. It'll be funny content, and uh, nevertheless, I think people will definitely want to see it. Okay, uh, Jar, do you think that when? Sari gets out of the house. Do you think that is she going to be mad when uh, she finds out that you had told Blue the secret about the identity? Or do you think that it'll just be water under the bridge at that point? Uh, I think when she gets out, she'll she'll probably give me that typical mom twist of the air. Like, hey, why would you even do that? But uh, <laughs> I think in hindsight, uh, when she sees how I felt that it was, I thought at the time that it was a good move for our game. Um, I think she'll understand because at the end of the day, she wanted me to play my own game, make my own moves, even if some of those moves wasn't something that she would necessarily agree with. Um, we saw that like one of the biggest points of contention between you and Corey the week that Izzy was on the block is that uh, like one, you told him that you would put America uh, up on the block and two, you told Cam that he had a secret and obviously that got back to him. Uh, what was the thought process behind uh, those decisions? Um, so at the moment I was working with Cam, we were starting to kind of realize that we had a potential future together, uh, even after me not using the veto for, uh, to save to bring Felicia down and ultimately put up my mom. Um, me and Cam saw that it was a possible future. So I was kind of letting Cam in on some information that I can trust him with. And at the time, I really just had a bad feeling about Corey. Not that I can foresee him, you know, trying to explode my game by any matter, but I did just 
really had this this taste in my mouth at the time for Corey's game towards myself and just felt as if it I wasn't able to trust Corey, which ultimately proved out to be true. Okay, Jared, I know you got to run. Thanks for making some time to talk to us today, okay? I appreciate y'all for having right. me so much. Thank you. Right. Take care, Jared. Bye.